myself Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sulapur. In today's session, we are going to see the duality of linear programming problem. At the end of the session, the learner will be able to determine the dual of linear programming problem from the primal one. In short, let's see the linear programming problem and the duality. The linear programming problem is a mathematical modeling technique in which we see the terms included are objective function, it may be of maximized case or minimized case with the n number of decision variables which is non-negative variables and it is subjected to the constraints expressed in the inequality or equality equations. This is an example which is highlighting the particularly objective function that is of maximized case and the subjected to the constraints, there are two constraints with the decision variable that is x1 and x2 which is restricted by the sign. Duality of linear programming problem is what the every primal linear programming problem has an associate with the another linear programming problem called as a dual and the dual of the dual is a primal one. Here in the table it is shown that the particularly if the primal problem is of maximized case its dual will be of minimized case and similarly if the primal is of minimized case its dual is of maximized case. Now in short let's see the particular standard forms of LPP required for the duality problem. For example, this is a problem which is of maximized case and here we observe that there are the particularly four constraints for the particular objective function. Here z is equal to x8, x1 plus 10, x2 plus 5, x3 which is subjected to the four constraints as shown here. Here the number of variables that is n is equal to 3 and number of constraints m is equal to 4 that are four equations are there equation 1, 2, 3 and 4 that is constraints equation. Now before starting to solve the particular primal problem means to convert the primal to the dual one we have to observe that the particular constraints which are here they are in the standard form according to the defined in earlier slide this is slide which are the standard required for the solving the particular LPP for by the dual methods. Now uh, when we start to see the all the particularly standard formats criteria, your first constraint that is 1x1 minus 1x3 is less than or equal to 4 which is according to the objective function case as I said for the max for LPP of maximize case all the constraints should be of LHS less than or equal to right hand LHS type. So this is as similar to the objective function case. Similarly, second a constant equation 2x1 plus 4x2 is less than or equal to 12. Again, this is similar to the objective function case. Now, the third and fourth that is 1x1 plus 1x2 plus 1x3 is greater than or equal to 2 which is not according to the objective function case. So it is not in the standard form. 3x1 plus 2x2 minus 1x3 equal to 8 again when you have to solve the particular problem or you can say the primal to the dual one all the particular constraint equation should be of inequality so but here in the fourth constraint it is of equality form so it is not in the standard form to convert by the duality method now let's start as i earlier told that the particular step one the constraint equation one and two both are of left hand side is less than or equal to right hand side type according to the maximized case so there is no need to change so keep as it is but in steps two constraint equation three which is of left hand side is greater than or equal to right hand side type which is according to the minimized case so as the, our problem is of maximized case we have to convert this particular constraint equation three to the objective function case that is of maximized case by multiplying minus one here I have shown you minus 1 multiplying to the constraint equation 3 on the both side that is of left hand side as well as right hand side. After multiplying it we get the a new constraint equation that is minus 1x1 minus 1x2 1 minus 1x3 less than or equal to minus 2. Now when we see the step number 3 constraint equation 4 which is of equality equation here the particular fourth equation was of here yeah, when we observe the main problem here yeah, it is of equality but to solve the particular problem by dual method the, this particular problem should have the inequality equation so here yeah, 
particularly therefore there is necessary to convert the equality equation to the inequality equation by replacing by a pairs of inequality equations in the opposite direction so 3x1 plus 2x2 minus 1x3 is equal to 8 this is the equation original equation to convert that yeah i have in the step 3 by the continuation i have shown you that this particular original constant equation i replaced by the two new constraints equation but in the opposite direction that is of inequality equation form 3x1 plus 2x2 minus 1x3 greater than or equal to 8 3x1 plus 2x2 minus 1x3 less than or equal to 8 these are the two uh, inequality equations but here the obtained new fifth constant equation is not according to the objective function case so it is necessary to convert it into the standard form by multiplying by minus 1 as the constant equation 1 is not in the standard form, standard form I will multiply it by minus 1 and convert into the uh, standard form according to the objective function case that is of maximized case this after multiplying on the both side by minus 1 LHS as well as on the right hand side minus 3x1 minus 2x2 plus 1x3 less than or equal to minus 8 this is a newly obtained constraint equation of 5 now once again I will write all the particularly converted constraint equations in the light that is a standard primal problem earlier I have only said that is a primal problem but now I will say it's standard primal problem because this is kind of the problem is totally converted according to the objective function case so the newly obtained uh, primal problem is the maximized uh, case that is equal to 8x1 plus 10x2 plus 5x3 and subject to the, all these newly obtained constraints now this when we observe all the constraints here we see observe that left hand side is less than or equal to right hand side which is according to the objective function case now let's start to convert this particular uh, standard primal formal to the dual one now once I start to convert into the dual form here we see that as per as there are five constraints equation there will be five new non-negative variables y1 y2 y3 and y4 and y5 now earlier it the objective function was of maximized case now it will convert into the minimized case as earlier told now z is equal to we 4 y1 plus 12 y2 minus 2 y3 minus 8 y4 plus 8 y5 which is the values from the uh, constant equations right hand sides now the first x1 this is a marking a box marking which i shown you this will be the newly obtained constant equation number one in the dual one that is 1 y1 plus 2 y2 minus 1 y3 minus 3 y4 plus 3 y5 greater than or equal to 8 similarly for x2 and x3 that is uh, 4 y2 minus 1 y3 minus 2 y4 plus 2 y5 greater than or equal to 10 similarly for the third that is x3 one, minus 1 y1 minus 1 y3 plus 1 y4 minus 1 y5 greater than or equal to 5 this is a dual which is obtained from the standard primal problem but this uh, obtained dual problem is again not in the standard form yeah let's see the number of variables in the original primal problem is 3 and the number of constraints are 4 but when we have observed the dual of the particular problem here yeah, the number of variables n is equal to 5 and number of constraint m is equal to 3 as you, I said that when from the original primal problem the number of constraints should be equal to the number of variables in the dual but we, when we observe this that m is equal to 4 but yeah, the number of variables n is equal to 5 so this particular dual is not in the standard form so to convert this particular dual in the standard form again I can replace this particular uh, du dual variables how first of all we have to observe that in the dual problem uh, which variables are having same coefficient that is when we observe here that y4 and y5 have the same coefficient so I can replace this y4 and y5 by the new variable which will be unrestricted by the sign to convert the particular dual into the standard dual form 
so to obtain the dual problem can be, uh, to, to uh, the obtain the dual problem can be converted into the standard dual problem by replacing difference of y4 and y5 by the new variables that is y6 which will be understood by sign this is a, a presentation of a separation of the coefficients of both the y4 and y5 and i will replace this by the y6 why i have selected y4 and y5 as i earlier told both have the same coefficients so after replacing i get the new particular standard dual problem that is g is equal to 4 y1 plus 12 y2 minus 2 y3 minus 8 y6 similarly i will replace the in the constraints also these are the constraints i will replace here also this is again 1 y1 plus 2 y2 minus 1 y3 minus 3 y6 greater than or equal to 8 similar to the other two also but finally i will mention that y1 and y2 and y3 are restricted by sign but y6 is unrestricted by the sign but here we can we observe that the number of variables in the original primal problem that we and when we observe the standard dual problem the number of constraints are three and the number of constraints in the original primal problem m is equal to four and the number of variables in the particular standard dual problem n is equal to four which is satisfying the standard requirement now this is a particular standard dual problem of the original primal problem let's select the correct answers for this mcqs hope so you have selected this one these are the references for the students thank you